right, you guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Libra. What does your guides and your angels and your ancestors want you to know for March 2023? Um, so we're going to take a look and see what that is, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your or take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are uh, collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. All right, so tell me about uh, Libra. Tell me about Libra here. Tell me about Libra. What does Libra's guides, angels, and ancestors want Libra to know? What does Libra's guides, angels, and ancestors want Libra to know for March 2023 for Libra? Tell me about Libra. What does Libra's guides, angels, and ancestors want Libra to know? Okay, we have the Three of Swords here. Oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Wands here in the Seven of Wands. So Libra, it's really important for you to learn boundaries here. Yeah, I do. Somewhat, I do feel like someone here might have poor boundaries, or that's you know someone here, uh, you know, doesn't have boundaries themselves. Uh, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that you know Libra, I feel like you're really guarded here. You know, I do feel like, you know, there's a sense of needing to heal from some sort of painful experience that you went through here. I don't know. I do feel like someone here has, you know, maybe in the past here as a child, you know, has had, you know, heart problems and someone here had like major heart surgery. And I feel like someone here needs a tune up when it comes, uh, you know, regarding that here. Okay. Someone here has to look out for their health because I do feel like someone here drinks. You know, I do feel like some here smokes, okay? Um, let's see. We have the King of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. I don't know who this is, but I wouldn't say someone's life is a complete mess. You know, it's like not perfect. You know, it's not like, you know, too 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 messy here but i do feel like someone here has to work on moving on from some past painful situations that someone here hasn't really dealt with yet or that you know someone here has some sort of awareness surrounding this okay but you know someone here needs to uh, take some time out to heal the star aquarius energy here tell me about the ace of pentacles why is the ace of pentacles here why is the ace of pentacles here Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So, you know, what's happening here is that, you know, I feel like the universe, the, your guides and your angels and your ancestors is asking you to move towards a new direction here in your life. Uh, because I do feel like someone here is like really sulking on, you know, the pain that they went through here. You know, one of the things I'm also getting here is that, you know, you know, someone like some, when someone here is not well, like I feel like someone here might be using that to like gain attention or to gain love. You know what I mean? So, you know, Libra, I mean, this could be you, this could be someone else, you know, but when I do these types of readings, it's more so for your personal growth and your spiritual growth. But if you want to apply this to someone else, you totally can. Page of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It just seems like someone here, you know, it just, you know, I do feel like someone here has a lot of underlying emotional pain here, okay? And I feel like we have someone here that's trying to distract themselves here. Yeah. And I feel like with the Knight of Cups here and the Seven of Wands, I feel like someone here is really looking for love. But, you know, with the Seven of Wands here, I do feel like, you know, someone here is really guarded, you know, when it comes to, like, really opening themselves up to receiving and giving love here. The Seven of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here. And the Queen of Cups. Wow. 
you know, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups here, and a ton of cu a, a, a ton of cups. You know, this is really interesting because I do feel like you could be in a relationship here where you know there can't be happiness here, there can't be marriage here, there can't be like major wish fulfillment here. But I do feel like there's some underlying issues that are getting in the way in someone here really pursuing this connection or really being open to receiving and giving here. Okay, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else does Libra need to know regarding their, uh, you know, regard from their uh, guides and their angels and their ancestors here? Outcome and advice. What else does uh, Libra need to know from their guides, angels, and ancestors here for March 2023? Two of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. Four of Swords here and the Four of Cups. The lovers here in the higher fence. Okay, so with the two of cups and the page of pentacles here, someone here has a you see, I so someone here has their back turned away from this relationship. Like I feel like this can turn into something um this can be, you know, totally amazing. This can, but I do feel like someone's underlying pain and fear and hurt is getting in the way here. Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, you know, I just feel like someone here feels like they don't deserve to be happy or that they don't deserve love. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that this person's basically, whoever you're dealing with here, like you could be mapping this out for someone or someone here could be mapping this out for you. You know, this person is basically, you know, dropping little hints here and there, letting you know what you could expect from them. Like if this person's telling you that they're going to give you grief, they're going to give you grief. If this person tells you that th they don't deserve love from you and that you deserve better, they're basically they're they're basically ra waving a red flag at you and they're, they're they're doing basically they're doing you a favor, you know? Um we have the uh, lovers here in the hierophant. You know, this I do feel like this this can turn out some in, into something really 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 great. I really do. The lovers here and the hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me the two of cups here and the ace of cups. Page of pentacles here and the fool. This is new love. Someone here is finding, someone here is has found new love. The problem is with the star card, uh, with the th three of swords here and the star card, you know, someone here perhaps, it, maybe someone here is realizing that it's time to heal so that they can receive and give love here, okay? So there is a new beginning that's happening here. I have a niche. All right, tell me about the Four of Swords. We have the Sun, Leo energy. Tell me about the Four of Cups here. And the Six of Pentacles. You know, I feel like someone here knows that, you know, they can have, you know, perhaps you know that you could have happiness with this individual here. You know, I do feel like there can be a potential in the future. You know, I feel like if someone here does take care of their hurt here, uh, you know, things can turn out really well. There can be marriage here. Uh, uh, maybe, you know, it could be a situation that, you know, someone here might be inspiring you to, you know, heal or that you've inspired someone to heal. You know what I mean? So tell me about the lovers here. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Hierophant here, and the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, it could be that, you know, maybe you met this person or you met someone here where someone here was supposed to inspire someone to heal. And I feel like the, this, this, was, this, this was meant to happen. Yeah, this was destined to happen. Yeah, I do feel like the universe is, you know, sending you your blessings here in a way, or someone here is receiving their blessings and, and, and opening the opportunity for someone to give themselves the space to do the work to heal. Does that make sense? So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated here. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, and um, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.